Hello. Um, so today's video um, is all about colour um, because it's lovely just to have a bit of colour around your house um, and today we want to think about lots of different colours um, and do a couple of different tasks all to do with colour. So the first thing that we're going to do um, is we're going to create a rainbow. So at the minute going around um, all the world and loads of different places like Italy and Spain and um, America and things like that um, people are creating rainbows um, and the reason they're doing this is because generally a rainbow makes people smile and um, makes people happy and remember that there are good things in the world and that we can have hope um, so today we're going to create a rainbow just so that you can remember in your home whatever you're at whatever your home looks like um, that you can have hope in this time that is really uncertain um, and that maybe is a wee bit worrying um, within your home so what we need are paper plates okay now if you don't have paper plates you can just use normal paper okay um, so that, that's fine to do it with that as well um, so with your paper plate you, uh, you're going to cut it in half so you might need some scissors so always ask for help again um, just so that you don't get uh, cut or anything or don't hurt yourself okay you're going to need some different colours of paint you can have a multicoloured rainbow it doesn't matter if it's not the same colour as mine you be again be as creative as you can something to paint um, your paint on here. I found this wee roller that I had um, so I thought that would be cool to uh, show you to how to use something like that or if you can't do that you can use your fingers and you can get really creative with your um, with your fingers and get it all nice and crafty and sensory as well um, and also I find this like shredded paper that was probably from like a present or something like that like to make up a, a present but if you don't have that you can um, use cotton buds at the side for wee clouds um, or scrumbled up bits of paper doesn't matter just be um, again you can look around your house and see what other things that you have there so first thing we need to do is cut our plate in half okay like I've done here and then pick your first colour that you're going to put on your rainbow. So I will put red at the start of mine. So put some red paint on your um, on the top of your rainbow, okay? And then I will you can paint it on across, okay? So I'll put it on the ground because I can't actually do it when it's in the air. Um, okay, it doesn't have to be nice and neat again. This is about being creative, not perfect, okay? Then, once you've got that, then you pick your second colour, okay, so I'll go orange, okay, and do the same. Do the same again. Uh, this time I'll use this wee roller, um, so then you just roll around, okay. And then you, you create all the different colours that you want in your rainbow, okay, um, until you have your full, your paper plate all fully coloured, okay. Then what we're going to do is we will put a little bit of glue on the side, the two sides of the bottom of the rainbow, okay, like this and like this, okay. You don't have to have clouds if you don't want to, um, but again, if you want to, just be creative with things around your house, okay. Take out some of your paper or scrumple up little bits of paper and then attach it to the side of your rainbow, okay. And again, I'll remind you the idea of this rainbow is to brighten up your room. You can put it in your bedroom, you can put it in your living room um, or somewhere in your house, okay? Just to remind you that although this is a really scary time, okay, and it's really different and we're all a wee bit unsure of what's going on, um, just remember that there, we can have a, bit, a little bit of hope and that this rainbow that you put up in your room might brighten up someone else's day and that's exactly what we want to do in this time, okay? The next thing that we're going to do, okay, is um, is called taking the pen for a walk, okay? A little bit weird. We don't put a lead on a pen, okay? Um, what we do is we get some paper, okay, and a pencil or a pen or something like that, okay? I'll use a pencil, okay? And what we do is we draw random lines all around your page, okay? So it's literally just... As if your pen has said to you, your pencil has said to you, I want to go for a walk today. And then you take it all around the page, okay? So you're left with a page, I don't know if you can see that, that has different coloured lines the whole way over it, okay? And then you're going to colour it in. So you pick your colours again, again today's all about colour. So you colour it in. Um, each little line, each little section, a different colour. So here the first one is blue. And then I'll do another one over here and I'll colour it in green, okay? And then what you're left with, okay, at the end is a multicoloured piece of paper where you've taken your page, your pen for a walk 
and you've colored in all the different colors okay what i also thought would be a cool idea okay if you had some chalk and it was a nice day like today that you could do it on the ground so i've done one to show you what it would look okay, like so here is um my taking the piece of chalk for a walk so in the the first uh this um flag whatever that's called flagstone thing um is where i've drawn out the outline um, and then in this one you can see where I've coloured in and you can use lots of different colours um, and it just brightens up the whole path okay I think I might actually ask my husband can I do all of our flagstones and then we'll have a multi-coloured piece of patio which would be awesome That we're going to do today is we're going to play I Spy, okay? Um, usually I Spy is um, played with a couple of different people, but I'll play it with you today um, and see how that works, okay? So the first thing I'm going to say is I Spy with my little eye something the colour of white, okay? So you take a few minutes, think about the pe with the people that you're with, what what's white in what you can see in this screen now, okay? And I'll give you five, four. Three, two, one. And the thing that I seen that was white was the, our neighbor's um, windows. Do you see how around their windows are white? So that's what I was looking at, okay? The second thing, I spy with my, sorry that if you can hear all that noise, there's work um, going on out in the road. Um, so I spy with my little eye, something the color orange, okay? So have a look around again in this screen. What can you see that is orange, okay? Five, four, three, two, one. And what I seen that was orange was our trampoline. Do you see that? The net around it there, the edge of the trampoline, it's orange, okay? Third one, last one. I spy with my little eye, something the color of red, okay? Have a look again around the screen. What can you see that is red? Five, four, three, two, one and I was looking at my sock and the Grinch's hat okay so you can play that with the people that in your, are in your house okay today we're all thinking about color okay we're thinking about all the different things that are around us that we can brighten up our day with because sometimes when we're in our house and we're stuck in our house for a couple of hours or a couple of days and maybe you've been off school for this whole week and maybe you're thinking oh I feel a wee bit sad or I feel a wee bit down and what I wanted to do today was bring a bit of colour to your life, okay, um, to your day. And it's so important in these times that we find things that are happy. So if today you find one thing that makes you smile, well then that's really good, okay. Today doing this for you guys has made me smile, has made me really happy, okay. And it's so important that you remember this will be a tough time for you and the people that you live with, okay? But every day, if we find one thing that made us smile or that was colourful or that was happy, then that would be something to help us maintain a healthy head because it is so important that we keep up our he mental health and that we remember that we can find positive things even when we're stuck in our houses, okay? So I hope you have a great day. I hope you enjoy making your um, rainbows and your, taking your pen for a walk or your pencil for a walk. And I wanna see pictures of those um, and I'd be excited to see how, where you're putting up your rainbows to promote hope and allow other people to have hope in what is a really strange situation, okay? I'll see you again in a few days and I hope you all keep safe. Bye.